Hello, my gorgeous makeup loving friends. How's it going? That's right. It's time for releases and rants, the episode where we take the new makeup releases that you guys actually want to talk about. And you know the drill. I have the gorgeous Tia with me, showing me up as always. Whether she has makeup or not, she just is always more beautiful. And it's it's a fact I have just eventually made peace with. Yeah. You love me too much to get rid of me. It's true. It's true. It's a, it's a very, very difficult cross to, to carry. But we have quite a few things to talk about this week because you guys were tagging me like crazy. So a massive thank you to everyone who was tagging me. I will display your names now. I hugely appreciate it. But the first thing we're actually talking about is a little bit of a continuation of what we were discussing last week. So last week we were talking about Cosmic Brushes and their Delicious Delights palette, which was stunning. But they also announced after we had finished filming on a Wednesday evening that they had their Highlighter Trio palette, which is really retailing for £16 but if you're in the EU it's €23.95 because they very kindly have sorted out taxes and duties etc so so you don't have to like worry about that but like €24 for that highlighter trio that's incredible I actually a lot of the palettes like today I use the new palette and there's the one shade that it's like a bluish highlighter shade and I used it as a highlighter today so I'm like these are nice I want these there are out of stock. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised they went out of stock. At some point, it's going to be mine. Oh, yeah. Like the golden shade is not maybe something I wear a lot, but the pink and the blue one, I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. Can you imagine like, the golden one, though, on the inner corner of the eye? Yeah. And it kind of has like a greenish, a little bit of a greenish shift. So I would use it at like with some looks, but I would get a lot of use with the like blue and the pink one because I love a blue highlighter I feel like it suits my skin really well it does yeah it gives you that glassy look yeah yeah I feel like this is executed so well if it's the cosmic brushes quality that we've come to know and love then hooray fantastic come launch day I was very good and I used Tia's code and link because that's what you should be doing and I purchased both the palette and this so it is making its way to me I even got an email today being like your shipment is coming and I'm like I was like yes so obviously I couldn't resist this I was I just think the price point is perfect like when you think about it eight euro per highlighter it's not bad but where else are you going to get an eight euro highlighter yeah you're not you just aren't like unless you're talking about like say beauty bear or whatever um yeah I don't I genuinely do not know how she does it I'm so happy she's doing like more products than just eyeshadow palettes and brushes like obviously she had like sponges and like some pigments I think but like I'm glad that she's doing like face products I'm like a blush palette could you please do that for me? I actually used today from the Delicious Delights one of the pink shade as my blush. Stunning. But I think so. I think she's smart. She started off with doing the eyeshadow palettes because those are always like the big sellers. And yeah. she's kind of uh, making sure that she's building up enough capital then to start off with more uh, diverse products. Like you said, like yeah. possibly a blush, a highlighter, etc. I think it's smart. Very, very smart. I am excited to get this. And in general, I'm just excited by anything the Cosmic Brushes do. Yeah. I feel like everything that they launch, I'm like, okay, yes, I love it. It's just, I love the brand so much. And I love the owner, Faye is so nice. and so like kind and just one of the best persons ever to like. And I I think that's a really good point, though, as well. Like when you're talking about indie brands, you're not just talking about like loads of different people. You're talking about usually one person behind the brand and like your one sale, like that one purchase that you've made actually makes a huge difference to them. And it's just it's really cool. I mean, you know that you're supporting somebody who's like a genuinely like nice person. So I'm I'm here for it. I got it. I have no regrets. Um, I will be using this as you know the fact that like Tia doesn't have this I'm going to be using this to lure Tia to Ireland 
I have like just that's why I buy makeup now. It's not because I care. It's it's just <laughs> and I really want Priya to come visit me. Look at the shiny things I have. Um, yeah, I think this is great. And I have to say, a lot of you guys thought that too. 60% loved it. And for me, I feel that's very high when you think about like a face palette normally doesn't get yeah. really high of a reaction. And also like the fact that it's sold out really fast. Oh. I don't know how big the stocks he had from the highlighter palette, but like I can't wait to, uh, to restock this. Then the next thing we have is Gloss Gods, who came out with their Sky Collection Volume 2. So it features two palettes. One is called Color of Rain, which is predominantly like those shimmery multi-chromes and it has one black matte and then the other palette is lavender skies and that has some multi-chromes in it but it has much more mattes than obviously the other one there's 38 euro 95 each they have lots of different bundles including a brush bundle for 35 euro 95 or you can get like the brush bundle plus the palettes for 101 euro 95 they've lots of different things going on and as i said in previous videos both myself and tia have affiliate codes and links with glasgow I'm going to put them down in the description box so that you can use whichever code, whichever link your little heart feels like using. It's all good. Full disclosure, I obviously uh, ended up buying the two palettes. I think they're stunning. They're, they're just stunning. I want the one with the mostly shimmers and one yeah. black and I'm going to get that at some point. I just did an order um, because I'm on the ambassador program. I got to choose some products from the site. So I ordered the previous, I think the Sky Collection, the whole shimmer palette yeah. and like a pigment and a blush, liquid blush. So I'm excited to actually try Gloss Gods for myself because it's my first thing coming. Oh. I'm going to get this palette. I've been messaging to everyone like, I need it. It's so beautiful I, and I will say I've been building because I'm looking over at it right now my gloss gods collection just to the left hand side of me and I've been building on it they are they're a dangerous one to get in on because once you buy one palette you're like oh excuse me wh what are you and why are you so beautiful why are you so pigmented why have you such lovely shimmery gorgeousness and it's very difficult to not just go ahead and get them all so at this point I'm pretty certain I have, if not all, then most of the eyeshadow palettes that they've come out with. Yeah, I've heard that they have amazing formula and I like amazing palettes, so I'm excited to try them. Yeah. I'm a little bit confused of the swatches of the Lavender Sky ones, because it looks lighter on the pan, but then when it's swatched, the like, mattes look a lot darker. Yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with the lighting, because I think to get yeah. the shimmers and the multichromes to really kind of pop, they have to yeah. have the darker lighting, which again makes sense. Yeah. But I think it would be super, super helpful if they also just showed the mattes in one way and then the shimmers in another way yeah. just so you could really appreciate it the colour story yeah. of the lavender skies isn't as much my thing yeah same that one is like I like the shimmers on it but I'm just like do I actually would, would I actually use it it's not like a palette that I would like maybe get a lot of use out of because I don't feel like I could do so many looks with it I just don't know it's just it's not my vibe yeah yeah I mean, for me, it's definitely the weaker out of the two. Yeah. Like, no question. The other palette is way more me. And I actually think they were so right in going for, like, a predominantly multi-chrome and using the black as a matte to say, use this as a base, which very yeah. smart. I like that idea a lot. And I actually, the brushes look really nice mm. also. I kind of want them. Yeah, I have to really restrain myself from Teresa not has like 10 million pots of brushes it's so. I actually, like I got rid of brushes there recently because I was like you're an idiot you can't keep stockpiling these I I was brutal and I got rid of maybe about 60 brushes yeah so I might get the brushes and the palette mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the brush pondo is actually quite affordable 35 like 36 euros yeah. So it's not that like expensive. They look really nice. I like the shapes of the brushes they've chosen there. I think this was curated really well. Um, like those yeah. are the sort of shapes I tend to go for in terms of brushes yeah. as well, which was part of why I struggled not to put it into my basket. But I believe you can also get them separately, as far as I know. Oh nice. Which I think is very, very smart because there's definitely like I don't yeah. think I need another liner brush. Like realistically yeah. I have a lot of them 
the rest like yeah I do really really like I think just in general I I tend to get very excited about gloss gods palettes formulas etc like particularly I only started using them a couple of months ago and they have quickly entered into my top 10 yeah I feel like they have like the releases that they have done on the last like let's say couple of years maybe year or two have been like really nice I've been loving a lot of the releases that they've done yeah they're solid and I gotta say not very expensive either like when you think it's it's actually pretty affordable yeah and it's nice to have like an European indie brand also because we don't have that many this is another Swedish brand FYI so there are a few Swedish like indie brands like there's Odin's Eye and of course them as well so I'm like oh okay that's that's pretty cool what is going up on up in Sweden obviously a very talented makeup people yeah I love it I bought it and I have no regrets another episode where Teresa bought it all no it's not (laughs) no it's not it's not it is not it is not um I I need to start showing some restraint because it's terrible (laughs) like it's genuinely like yeah I do have a bigger house now but I can't fucking fill it like well I can but I shouldn't so I'm I'm going to be better is my general thought when I put these two palettes to you it's exactly the conclusions that you would expect they both fared really well but the color of rain one was much more popular with 61% loving it whereas the lavender skies got 43% then we have a collaboration between glam light and rick and morty there's a few things in here but it isn't like the massive bundle that you might think that you would normally get so there's a palette there's a highlighter trio setting spray there's two different lip kits and you can get the bundle all together for $90 or you can get the lip bundle for $25. So the thing is, I did a video on this because if you don't know, I do little shorts on this as well. And I had a few people, like there was Danny and Terry, I believe, and Point Click Vibes who all pointed out, because I don't know this, I don't watch Rick and Morty. It just isn't my thing. I never really vibed with the material. But yeah. apparently... One of the creators behind Rick and Morty, who is also like one of the voice actors, has been charged with domestic abuse and violence towards his partner. So that's kind of put a bit of a uh, sting in 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 the release. And apparently Point Click Vibes also gave some really good information over on my TikTok, saying that this had been in the works for a really long time. And that um, Glamlight essentially tried to push it for a little bit, but they couldn't not release it without losing a ton of money. So this is, I totally get why some people would be like, I don't want to support this because this particular person will get money who has engaged in a horrendous crime. But it's also like, well, it's not like Glamlight knew that when going into the relationship and it would kind of suck for them to lose so much financially yeah. I can see it from a couple of different angles but I figured I'd just put that out there so that you guys would know and you can make informed decisions then as to whether or not you do want to purchase it or not again like I said I've never seen well no I have seen Rick and Morty I have just to give it a go and it just wasn't my thing but I I'm not really one to speak about whether or not the palette etc makes sense for the source material there I haven't watched it so it's like I I don't really know also I'm not like feel like I like individual colors in that palette but there's something in it that it's just the swatch just makes me look like depressed for some reason it looks ugly I don't know like I like the palette when I look at the palette I'm like oh that looks kind of pretty but then when it's swatched I'm like "Mm." the swatches are not selling it yeah I don't know it's just not for me I feel like there's like both of those like purpley pinks look exactly the same same. yeah yeah and then a couple of the blues look really similar I don't really understand the orange there maybe it makes sense for the show but it's just it's an ugly orange I just don't like orange (laughs) 
It's not my favorite. I like the highlighter palette, although I will say on a light skin tone, they look almost identical, at least on the swatches. Yeah. So maybe they will look different when you like see them in person, but on the like swatches that they've shown on the lighter skin tone, they look kind of similar, all the yeah. three. But you can really see the difference on the colors on the darker skin tone. So I'm not really sure. How yeah, it will look. I agree. I feel like this collection is a little bit all over the place like that palette is not well edited there's yeah. definitely <laughs> dupes of a, a minimum of three shades yeah also like the blue shimmery shades the two on there they look very similar it's just I feel like it could be a little bit more edited and it looks a bit jumbled yeah to me it's just not my vibe. The lip kits look nice. I agree. Yeah, the lip like kits both look nice. The lip kits for me are the bits that are the most interesting out of the yeah. entire collection. I think particularly the the darker one, the Rick hologram one. Oh my yeah, that god! Yeah, really pretty. Love the look of that. And like, they're not wildly expensive either. They're fourteen dollars per lip kit, or you could get the two together for twenty five dollars, which I actually think is pretty good when you look at the fact that you'll be getting essentially four products but I think yeah. the rest of it and there's also a makeup setting spray which I'm like oh okay I hate the package and it looks <laughs> yeah. it looks so awful like I get that it's like kind of maybe like goes with the show like I don't know but it's just so <laughs> yeah like you maybe, know like... maybe it's nice on the face like that all that matters that's all that matters but it's just so ugly to look at. But when I was, I was so confused by what the product actually is because when I was looking at the website, they were like, the setting spray is to prime, hydrate, and set. And I was like, wait, how? Priming and setting are two very different things. Yeah, I feel uh, like it's just uh, um, one of those like Mac Fix Plus kind of products, maybe. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, is it really then a setting spray? It's yeah. more like a melting spray. Yeah. I'm very big on like what words actually are. It kind of bothers me when when the description isn't quite correct. But yeah. I just, I think maybe this is one for like fans because I know that definitely quite a few people were like, oh my God, no, I'm so excited because I love Rick and Morty, which I was like, oh, okay, that's great. So it does appeal to fans. That's fantastic. But yeah. for me, just as a makeup lover, there's very little of this that I'm looking at and kind of going, oh, yeah, this for me. I love it. Bar the lip kit. Yeah. It's not, it's not, not like very exciting to me. I was also just trying to think to myself, has Glamlight done a release that hasn't been a collaboration. Yeah, they've done a lot of collaboration. Yeah, it's not for me. Um, I can't get glam light anyway. You know the drill. I've said this a thousand times before. They just don't ship to here. But when I put it to you guys, it actually did okay. Like the palette was 45% love. The highlighter trio was 44% love. The setting spray was 21% love. And the lip kits actually did pretty okay. One was 28% and one was 30% love it. The next thing we're talking about is Lethal Cosmetics. And they're coming out with 12 new singles, six of which are pure metals and six of which are multi-chromes. And they said that they're also coming out with an empty constellation palette. We haven't seen what the constellation palette looks like yet because that's all kind of coming soon I think it's the 30th of June yeah everything is happening on the 30th of June guys basically so many of the releases I'm talking about today are like the 30th of June but there's six metals and all of them are 10 euro each with the exception of one which is the kind of holographic kind of silver one I think it's called bismuth and that's 12 euro and my goodness like I'm going to show you some like videos here of what they actually look like because I feel like the swatches themselves don't do it justice. You kind of have to see it bending across light and they yeah. look so pretty. And the thing is, there's four days across basically from June 30th through until July 4th where there's a discount of about 15% on. So if you're looking at these, I'm kind of going, oh, I really, really want them. That's the time to get it within that window because, you know, instead of it being 10 euro, 
for one of those singles, it's going to be eight euro fifty, a decent saving. And of course, they also have some multi crumbs as well. And each of the multi crumbs are regularly going to retail for seventeen euro. But at the launch, if you manage to get it, then it's fourteen euro forty five each. And again, the multi crumbs they look beautiful in the swatches. They really, really do. But again, I'm going to show you a video now so that you can really see what each of them look like. And what I will say is, like, Lethal Cosmetics are expensive. Let's be real, but I feel like they are very good. Quality quality and they're sort of like investments yeah their products are really nice i haven't tried any of their multi chromes and the shimmers that i have they're like older ones so they're not like my favorite they're like more traditional mm. shimmers there's nothing wrong with it but i just like sparkly things but these look really nice like the holographic shade looks really pretty yes that the holographic silver I was like kind of looking at the metals and I was like oh I'm not really that interested and then bismuth came up and I was like excuse me you're spectacular beautiful multi yeah I feel like that looks really nice mm. and the multi-chromes look nice I'm not that excited about multi-chromes like I like multi-chromes and I like duochromes and I like sparkly stuff but we have so many of like multi-chrome launches these days that it's just like it's a bit like I, I, I'm not that excited anymore like they look beautiful but would I go and buy those probably not yeah I mean the thing is we've been dealing with multi-chromes duochrome sparkly things for, for at least the last three years in makeup at yeah. least so we have a very saturated market at this point where pretty much every brand all the way through to she glam have done multi chromes duo chromes yeah. etc so yeah i i i would be in the same boat in that i already have a lot of things like a lot of multi chromes etc in palettes in singles etc yeah. but and i don't need to get this but it's again another classic scenario of if this turned up at my door would i use it yeah i would i would absolutely love it yeah use it up uh, maybe for me it's like I like my like um palettes that I don't I, I don't buy that many like single eyeshadows if that was a palette I would be like oh that's nice like obviously you can make it as a palette but it will, it will be very expensive yeah so I'm just like if it was a palette and the price was it obnoxious I would probably be like oh yeah you know, do you know what? I think I'm exactly the same because I mean, I shat myself over the glass gods and yeah. that's basically a whole palette of yeah. chrome shimmers, but it was an affordable price and it was all already curated of yeah. I don't have to like pop things in or arrange them. I think that's where the difference is. Yeah. Imagine I if you would like buy all of those like shimmers, oh. those like what did they call it? Those metallics and then like those multi-chromes, all of the shades and then the palette. That would be so expensive. Oh yeah, like I'm I'm doing the, the mental math here at the moment. Like, and just for the metals, if you got them at launch, it'd be 51 euro because they're 8 euro 50 each. And if you got the multi-chromes at launch, it would be... Uh, like 87 euro 70 holy shit like so, obviously multi-chromes are expensive to make yeah like, like we have seen like expensive multi-chrome palettes if they're like true multi-chromes and not like duochromes or like just shimmery shifty shades then like i kind of understand the price but is it at a price range that I could afford? No. Yeah, because that's the thing. We're talking about on launch day with that 15% off, getting all 12 of those shades, you're not going to have a lot of change out of 130 euro. And that's yeah. quite getting the empty palette. Yeah. So for me, it's, it's a no. Because uh, <laughs> as much as I'm an idiot with buying shit I don't need, there is always like a boundary for me about where I do stop but they are absolutely stunning and I don't doubt the quality at all I suspect they're going to be very very good but I'm I'm going to uh, calm my tits 
essentially. But it scored really, really well with you guys. The metals, 67% of you loved it. And the multicrons, 74% of you loved it. Wow, that's, mm. that's a high percentage. And then more indie brands. This time it's pastel roses. They came out with two palettes. So one is called the Wild Tropics. And the other one then is called Floral Temptation. And they're £32 each. But I did have somebody message me and say like, it's really weird that if you go onto their site, that yes it says 32 pounds but once you put it into the basket and before it even gets to shipping it starts to calculate that so that's not including that which is really weird now i have to check that out myself i don't but i'm just going on what somebody else said me it said to me <laughs> i'm so professional over here which i was kind of like that's a really really odd way to do things but whatever it is what it is they're nice palettes and i do like pastel roses in terms of their quality i feel like if i'm looking at the two palettes weirdly the floral temptation is more interesting to me i feel like that's more cohesive mm. the other one makes me a little bit sad i don't know why. like i like the shimmer shades in it yeah but then i'm like the rest of them i'm like i don't know what i would do with you yeah. it's just when you have small palettes and the like i feel like there's no like all of the shades are similar depth so there's not like very light tones very dark tones they're kind of like medium depth ah. all of them so I'm like, what would I do with you? I don't know. Like, I need some depth and I need some light shades to, like, create a look. I feel yeah. like both of those, actually. The floral one is a little bit better, I will say. Like, it, it has some variety. But these are not for me. Like, I like pastel roses. I have, like, their those flakies. Uh, quite a bit of those flaky things from them but I feel like their eyeshadow palettes haven't like, like really excited me that much I I feel exactly the same I love how we're going to totally contradict ourselves and <laughs> be like we want we just said we're like we would prefer to have like an eyeshadow palette than to have singles but with pastel <laughs> roses their eyeshadow palettes so far the way they've curated them haven't been interesting to me but when I go onto their website and I see you know their single shadows or I yeah. see you know, they're loose pigments. They're that stunning. excites me. I feel like they shine the most with their like individual like single shadows. They're like pigments and those type of things. I feel like those are the things that they do very well and like are the most popular. Like a lot of people like their like singles and like the flakies and the pigments. But I feel like the eyeshadow palettes, I haven't really seen anyone use ever the like eyeshadow palettes. So Yeah, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head that I know that has them. Like I know loads of people who have the singles, myself included. Um yeah. yeah, I think particularly the wild tropics the wild tropics is very mismatched, very jumbled, like you said, very mid-tone. There isn't that depth, there isn't that light. It's just kind of like bright summer colors ah. and then the floral temptation I think is at least better in the sense that there is a cohesive color story to it you can see how they all interconnect together but again the same issue of doesn't have that level of depth doesn't have that level of yeah. light either it's all very mid-tone and I think again this is where we're saying they are just better at doing their singles I think yeah. there needed to be an extra row across both of those palettes of deeper and darker shades yeah I mean the packaging and everything looks very pretty and I do like the shimmer shades on both of the palettes it's just that it's like not for me yeah yeah I agree I, I, wish, I would love to see them do a palette that was actually like cohesive yeah in my eyes like obviously other people might think that these are cohesive it's just my opinion yeah no that's it's fine like I am rooting for them as a brand I want to see them do really really well I'm just waiting for the palette that is just like perfect for me yeah. at the moment 
we've just not quite gotten there. When I put it to you guys, these did okay. The Wild Tropics had a 41% love it and the Floral Temptation was a 38% love it. Then we have Martine Cosmetics that we talk about, what, on like a bi-monthly basis almost? It feels like we talk about them a lot. Yeah. This is their new Neon Nitro or Neon Nitro Speed Collection. So you can get the full collection for €149.95. The palette itself is $64.95. The face palette is $44.95. They have this kind of liquid liner. It's called You De Bitch, which is <laughs> eyes eyes off the bitch uh, for €14.95. So it's a purple one. They already have like a black and a brown one of that. And they have three new pencil liners, each retailing for €14.95. They're already available on Martine Cosmetics website. I don't know when they're going to come to Beauty Bay. I would imagine maybe in the next week or so. I still feel like every time I look at a Martine Cosmetics product, I think of old school Jeffree Star. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like they do like nice colors or as well. It's just something in the palettes. Like, I would like to see this swatch. Yes. So I would like to see like the shimmers. How are they swatch? But it's just, it's a little, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I don't really like, like it that much. Like, I like some colors, like the greens and the yellows. The blues look nice, but I don't understand the like, orange is there you don't like orange yeah <laughs> almost like complaining why is there orange in this? the only time I can ever like placate you with the idea of orange in a palette is me kind of going you can use it as blush and then you kind of calm yeah. down a little bit <laughs> I'm yeah. like, whoa there Tia whoa Nelly whoa <laughs> um I I feel like I like individual colors like there's those greens that I'm like oh that's very interesting to me but I yes. do not understand because I went through the, the website. I've curated the, this PDF. My channel members are probably looking at it right now. But I went through the website and I could not find swatches. And for me, if I'm spending 65 euro on an eyeshadow palette, yeah, I am not buying it just at glance, just looking yeah. at it. I'll do that for like a 10 euro palette because I'm an idiot, but I won't do it for a six, like a 65 euro palette. That's yeah, this is like look. expensive. It's it's like Huda, it's like lime crime prices. Like, yeah. And those are like, I feel like established brands. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like the shimmers look a bit meh. That's why I would like to see it swatched. Like, are those like just traditional shimmers or are they like sparkly ones or what's the deal with that i mean we've said it before swatches can make or break a palette yeah we're looking at this right now kind of going oh it's not for me but who knows maybe if we were showing swatches we might be like oh actually this is stunning yeah. i love the shift on this or i love the way that this sparkles yeah. for the moment we don't have any of that and i think for a company that has done as many launches as they have done now like they've done a lot just even in this year alone you would think that they would have learned to curate their website to include swatches i just hate when brands don't have like swatches or that they have swatches but the swatches look like shit lunar beauty we're looking at you and um, beauty bay <laughs> yeah <laughs> like can you not swatch a palette like <laughs> what is wrong with you some of them like swatch these in the dark and it shows and I just I I like individual colors of this and I feel like it's actually quite a fun looking palette but for the price and then the lack of the swatches it's just not for me and then when I'm looking at like the face palette who 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 is this for because I'm so confused. you have a golden highlighter which is for deeper skin tone but then you have a pale pink and then a, a lilac-y highlighter who, who? why is there like three highlighters and one orange blush there I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm, just, just... I'm so confused it looks so ugly. I'm sorry. Who, who is this for? Who has that specific skin tone that, that could you wear all of those? No one. No I one. Get, I could get away with two out of the three of those shades. Yeah. And that's it. That's why I hate like face palettes if they're not like made for your skin tone, <laughs> like they're light, medium, deep, dark, you know, because then it's just like you can't use all of the shades that's 45 euro that's a <laughs> lot of money <laughs> it's not just me like that is a lot I would never that looks cheap to me it does. I'm sorry but it does yeah this looks like something I could get in pennies 
Yeah. The things that I do actually think are decent in this collection are actually the eyeliners. Like I think that a liquid liner for €14.95, Euro that is not bad at all. A pencil liner in actually nice shades for €14.95, Euro I'm not actually annoyed about that at all. I actually think that's an okay price for that when you think the fact that she's trying to sell her like eyeshadow palette for €65. Euro. For me, that's the stuff that I'm like, okay, I could maybe be convinced to buy those. But again, the fact that she has no swatches of mm-hmm. any of these... Like, I think particularly if you're selling a liquid eyeliner, I want to see how thin a swatch yeah. I can use on that. With the pencil eyeliners, I want to see how pigmented they actually are. Yeah. How they're, like, creamy or, like... I just do not get the lack of swatches. It genuinely pisses me out. Yeah, this isn't for me at all. No. I, I'm like, I actually haven't seen anyone use Martine Cosmetics, so I'm, like, Maybe. curious. Like, who buys this? Like there's definitely you had something from Martin Cosmetics. Could you like comment and like tell how the quality is? Because I don't know nothing about the brand. I'm definitely intrigued by them because there's been a few palettes that I've kind of looked at and gone, oh, I do like that. But again, but because they're so expensive, it's like you don't want to risk it. Yeah, exactly. Like if they were half the price, then I would. But. Yeah. Mm, at the moment no but it seems a lot of you guys have the same sort of thoughts like the eyeshadow palette got a 29% love it the liquid liner 19% love it the face palette 22% love it and actually it was the eye pencils that did the best 33% loved it if you're on TikTok you probably are very aware of who Michaela Naguera is every second or third video of hers is her kind of energetically discussing her wedding and looking for the quote unquote perfect foundation concealer lip kit etc Um, and it's been a great marketing tool for her like she is an exceptional saleswoman if nothing else right whatever you might think of her you have to acknowledge that she is actually very very good at selling a product like she does she gets people excited about things so I kind of think that part of her kind of going oh I'm looking for this perfect xyz has kind of led to this collaboration then with elf and it's the marriage material lip kit and it's limited edition and it was co-created with Michaela and it's coming out June 29th so as you're watching it it's already available and it's $12 which isn't bad at all it contains a cream glide lip liner and it's in the shade till death do us pet p-a-h-t that's not me trying to do a terrible accent it's just that's how it's spelt and then there's the o-face satin lipstick which is a rosy pink and it's in the shade pucka up so they're going to be available as you're watching there's loads of like even on the website promotional pictures of like Michaela and her fiance who I, I don't know when exactly they're getting married I don't know if they've been married already or what the story is oh, but I think they're getting married at like a suite oh, I don't know how she managed to to rope her fiance into being part of a photo shoot with Elf Cosmetics for this I could never get Sahil to do it I have there to... was also like Michaela's mom and then um, her fiance's mom also in there Fair I saw some talks of it I mean I quite like the color of this okay. and it's not like I feel like it's not expensive I don't I don't mind it. Will it be available here? Probably not because she did say it's very limited edition. So it's probably just going to be like US. Yeah. I I personally really like the combo. You know, I'm not yeah. personally a Michaela fan. She's not really my jam. That's okay. We don't have to fight over it. But I do feel like I like this combination of the darker lip liner and the very new lipstick. I think it's very classic. It's very, very pretty for $12. It's very good. There's something about it, though, that I'm kind of like, oh, you're capitalizing off your wedding. That's a bit (laughs) weird. But then I'm like, I I feel like it was kind of expected. Yeah, I mean. Like to have some kind of a wedding thing. Yeah, I mean, she she's good like I said at at selling herself like that she is a saleswoman but um I got married last year and for any brands that are interested I am still interested in doing a retrospective wedding makeup thing contact Teresa now yeah I mean I like this I feel like the packaging looks like it's like I think she said it's like very her like Mm. wedding vibes it looks very like nice and like kind of luxe also from Elf. Like it doesn't look that cheap to me. And in general, look, Elf are a really good brand, really good quality. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, she was talking a lot about 
this MAC lipstick that has been discontinued. It's called Flesh Pot. And she's down to like the last little stub of her lipstick. And she was using that when she went on her bachelorette. I don't know how I know all of this information. There, a lot of this information, by the way, has been cons consumed by me unwittingly. Uh, who knew? But she, <laughs> at the very end of this particular lipstick, so there were a lot of people that were thinking, oh, I wonder are MAC going to come back with the Flesh Pot to you know yeah. the wedding etc but I feel like actually I'd love to see the MAC flesh pot against this lipstick like how I, feel, similar. I yeah. feel they are quite similar in tone in my opinion and I would say they're going to gauge as well to see how well this does and if it does very well they'll probably come out again but without all the packaging etc they'll yeah. just the packaging be the limited edition thing yeah I like it like I, do. I like the the combination um I just I just find the whole idea of quite bizarre to me but that's that's a me thing um but I would happily capitalize on any aspect of my life too Michaela I'm 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 here for it 31 percent of you loved it that's actually pretty good for like yeah, for a lip kit. then we have blend bunny and they said that they were coming out with a brand new collection and they had kind of sneak peeked and said that the kind of theme around it was 90s sugar and grunge and we finally know what it looks like again this is coming out june 30th everything is coming out june 30th and the palette itself is 41 dollars and they say that the shimmers that are in this palette are akin to the lure and the all done up so they're different to like say the dollhouse etc so just for reference that'll let you know there's no change to the mats the mats are the same as like they have been in other formulas and then there's three different shades of lip creams and they're $12 each so as you're watching you should be able to get them right now for me this palette was not an initial love I felt like it was a little bit repetitive of what had been done um, so far from Blend Bunny I feel like I have these colors in my like Blend Bunny palettes that I do own already like you can like because i own most of them except lore Same. i think so yeah mm. all of them except lore so i feel like i have these colors already um so i don't really need it and also like i was expecting a little bit something different like when it's like sugar and grunge i was kind of expecting more like i don't know what like more grungy, mm -hmm. like 90s thing. Um, I like the individual colors, like, except the pinks. I feel like I, I just don't like pink on me. Yeah. That much. I, I know that she said that she uh, arranged the shimmers in like different, like not the corresponding like mats and then the shimmer, she's arranged them differently now to like inspire people. But it's just... Messing with your I like, Yeah, I kind of liked her when it was like columns. Yeah. It's just like, it's my preference on palettes when like similar colors are grouped Oops. together. Yeah. It's just my like preference. And I, I just think. But you see, I kind of feel mm -hmm. like if you're going to jumble it, then jumble it. Yeah. Don't have this organization across like 80% of it. Yeah. And then. <laughs> the last yeah. hurdle. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it it kind of makes makes it look like it was like unintentional. It does. Like that maybe somebody like lost focus when they were putting in the pans. Yeah. But like for me, because of the way that my brain works, if I had this palette, I would have to jimmy out those shimmers, like take them out yeah. of the pan <laughs> really and then put them into the correct <laughs> slots. Because my brain just would struggle. For me when I looked at this palette initially I was like oh I'm not really sure because I have the dollhouse and I think there's like a lot of shades in there that are similar I have the all done up I think there's a couple of shades in there that are kind of not quite duping but would be close enough that a lot of people yeah, like the greys I feel yeah. like I'm from all done up and then the browns from um from the dollhouse yeah and then I feel like the greens look similar to serves yeah greens and then I feel like the blues would look kind of similar to what she had in lore and yeah. then the purples also look like I feel like if you own most of her palettes this is maybe not something yeah you would need. and also I would like her to do more palettes of the size of the all done up 
I know that this is like a little bit slightly bigger, but I just really like the layout of Old yeah. Enough and like how it's done and made like that to me is like grungy palette. Yes. It's that, so pretty. Me, it's one of my favorites. For me, the old on up is way more nineties grunge inspired than this. Yeah, me too. I feel I feel the, exactly the same. Like the packaging is pretty, yeah. the colors themselves are pretty, and I would use it, but it's just that I don't need it because I have mm. so many palettes from her already that I feel like it would be repetitive for me to buy this. Yeah, same, same. For me, when I was looking at this, the the section of this that really hit me immediately was the top right hand corner, the nine pan there. I'd have bought that as a nine pan. Yeah, I think that's. Same. I do. I think even though I would have those colors. Yeah, well, I'm an idiot. I feel like it's really pretty. And I will say the swatches that were done by a, a creator over on Instagram called Dee Dee, they're beautiful. They do look really, really nice, and they did kind yeah. of make me go, oh, and kind of look over it again. Anyways, and I do like that. What I do feel is properly 90s, though, is the shade Runaway from the lip cream. That, I think, is the most sort of, like, 90s-esque thing that we I see. love her lip cream. Yeah. Like, I have the uh, old enough collection ones. I'm yeah, missing same. one here. But these are so nice, and I'm glad she's doing more shades. Because, like, these feel like nothing on your lips. Mm. They feel so nice. And... Um, I wanna. I want her to do more, and I kind of like that she's kept the package in same yeah. as the old enough collection. So it, like all of them look same if you buy more. Yeah. No, I I would like to see more beige neutrals. <laughs> Me too. She has like one tease. This is like a beige nude. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like she should do more like lighter colors. Exactly. I feel like a lot of her her colors are quite dark medium yeah. dark so I'd like to see like really light nudes and like I'd like to see almost like just a couple of shades off flesh tone yeah. I feel like in 90s like grunge thing I would have liked to see like a really pale nude Same. because if you have like if you look at like 90s grunge 2000 you you would see those like almost like concealer Lips. Yeah, concealer lips. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I want to see more like beigey, biscuity yeah. type lip creams, and I, I trust her formula. I think that would look really good. I just yeah. feel like the idea of '90s and grunge isn't a hundred percent meshing with all yeah. the options in this collection. I do, I do think it's good. It, like I like her formula. I like the brand, but for the moment, it okay. just this is not a release that I'm 100% into and that's fine it just means yeah. saving a bit of money but it did actually do quite well with you guys the palette itself got a 53% love it and the lip creams got a 39% love it and we're going with another indie beauty brand this time it's Mika Beauty Shop which is a French brand and this is their Butterfly Kaleidoscope palette it's available now for pre-order for 65 euro it includes eight matte shadows six multi-chromes and two duo chromes and there's a few shades in there that I really like if you know me you know that I'm looking at the shade green hair streak yeah that looks really nice I like that yeah I feel like it's a pretty color story it's just the same thing that I said with the uh, pastel roses it's mm. very like mid-toned yes there's not much variation between the like mass um but other than that I feel like it, it's pretty but it's just not for me because I like to have like that variation of like very dark very light and like medium shades yeah I think for me particularly when I'm looking at this and I'm looking Looking at the swatches, it's like the first couple of shades I'm like all over it. Like I think the first two yeah. rows I'm really into. And then the bottom two rows, I'm like, eh. Yeah. I'm same. not into. I'm not as into if I'm a hundred percent honest. I, I do like them as a as a brand. I have one palette from them. It's the Serpent palette, which was uh, a collaboration between them and Marsha's makeup and it's it's a fabulous palette. I have yet to do a video on it, but I have been enjoying it in the background. Um I, I do like their quality. I think they're very, very good. And from what I remember, this came out initially on the 26th of June. And I think she said that she was doing like 100 palettes. So they obviously all sold out because now she's doing a pre-order. So if you are interested in this, there probably will be some videos coming out in the next while outlining what this is like and whether it's worth the money, etc. Yeah. I think the theme makes sense, like the butterfly kaleidoscope, because it is kind of like jumbled colors etc and yeah. if you're looking at butterflies they do tend to be kind of mid-toned in color 
But I think you could have added in that splash of black or a bit yeah. of white to because you do have like butterflies that have like white wings and black wings, etc. Yeah. And that could have just really brought I love it. over. Yeah, yeah, I do. I will say I love the proportion of mats to multi-chrome duo chromes. I like that it's half yeah. and half. That yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, but in all, it's not going to be one that I'm picking up uh, at the moment. I like aspects of this, but not enough to bite the bullet. At the moment, I don't know what you guys think of it because I have yet to get the stats on it. But I feel like it'll, it'll do okay, but it won't be like super, super popular. Then we have Shroud Cosmetics and they've revealed their Peaches and Dreams palette. And again, this is launching the 30th of June. When in doubt, just think what's happening on the 30th of June? Oh, <laughs> yeah. A load of releases, a shit ton of releases. And this is one of them. So thing is, right, I have like one thing from Shroud Cosmetics. I do enjoy it. I, I really like the quality. I just do not understand the color story of this at all. I get, I get conceptually that this is like peaches in various stages of like ripeness and bruises, etc. But I don't get it. I, I, I get cannot, it. cannot figure out how to use it. I think it's going to take somebody who's way more talented than me to, yeah. to actually know how to use it. I think there's like it's obviously again, like, again, it's very mid-toned. Mm. Like I just don't understand. Like maybe it's just not for my taste because, like I've said, I like to like have a cohesive palette where you can create a look with it like there are exceptions obviously but like when all the colors are the same depth and then you don't like what do you blend out with what like you have blue but what do you blend out with it you don't have anything to blend it out yeah you have purple what do you blend that out with you have nothing to blend out you have green and then like two oranges it's just I feel like it's just very like meh like the shimmers look so pretty yeah I like those a lot but the mats are just like what is happening yeah it's super jumbled it is not a standalone palette by yeah. any stretch of the imagination and I, again like I don't you don't need to use just one palette when you're doing your makeup but I feel like you know you should at least have the option to yeah, potentially to use it create a look with it but if you're <laughs> going to have to reach into two or three other palettes to make it work it's questionable um uh, yeah I just I love the shimmers I think they look so so pretty and I get that what they're trying to do is almost like have a shimmer that corresponds to the mats but they don't even completely do that either yeah it, it kind of if I'm 100% honest kind of stresses me out I do appreciate that they haven't just done peaches. We'll do an all orange palette, or you know what Too Faced did like five years ago with their peaches palette. At least they haven't made it like, the, like peaches. Well, like look at the packaging, for example, that like purpley and um, lavendery one with like those peach and like orange pops and like pinks. That looks pretty. Mm. But then when you look at the like palette itself, I don't feel like the packaging represents what's like inside of it yeah. because that's like very bright to me and that yeah. is more like pastely muted like tones the packaging so it's like doesn't make sense to me this is more circus kaleidoscope yeah it, it's just not for me I do think the quality is there but I don't understand it or yeah. not what I could do with it. Yeah, like the swatches look nice. I don't I feel like this would be nice quality. It's just it doesn't make sense as a palette to me. Yeah, same. Again, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm gonna flash the stats above. It just ain't for me. Then we have another indie brand because this is the episode with all of the indie brands. And this is Spellbound Beauty and they have their Coven palette, which is available right now for €35.26. It has both mattes and duochromes and they are cruelty free and vegan. It seems that the only way that you can actually get them is on Etsy. Uh, they don't seem to have their own dedicated website. I will have an affiliate link down below if you are interested in getting this. I 
do feel like 35 euro for a palette that is mattes and duochromes is not bad at all. And they did specify on their website, it was like mattes, duochromes, no glitter, which I was like, yeah, I think <laughs> a lot of people get really annoyed about that. I think this is for a very specific consumer. And I, I wish they had again done swatches because I feel like yeah. when I'm looking at the palette, like that shade Gaia, they do have really great descriptions on the website of what each of the shades are and how they shift. But I'd actually like to see them myself as to how they actually operate. Like the shade Gaia or Gaia has that lovely like golden to green sort of a shift. But yeah. I can't make out what the rest of them are actually like. This is a very... Yeah gothic witchy palette it's not going to be for everyone I feel like this is very like subversive it's not going to be for the general population I think it's quite cool I wouldn't know what to do with it because I'm not cool enough for that but mm -hmm. it's not for me like it's very like dark and mm -hmm. deep it's pretty but it's just I can't put my finger on it why I don't like if we if we mixed this with the likes of the butterfly kaleidoscope, we'd have the perfect palette because we have like dark there and then the mid tones from yeah. the other palette. Can we do a little mixy mix? Frankenstein's makeup. I I do quite like this. I feel like 16 year old me is like looking at this kind of going, yeah, we like this. Um, but 33 year old me is kind of going, we're not brave enough to do that, you silly goose. But again, I don't get why brands don't show swatches yeah I feel like that could have made or break this palette for me like I feel like if I've seen swatches that could have changed totally my like opinion on it I'm... now I'm like a little bit on the fence mm. because I like to see myself how they look so yeah brands that... oh, swatches it's not that hard yeah because I love a dual toned like multi-chrome shimmer and if it's like really yeah. interesting looking, I would get this. But I can't tell based upon just looking at the palette. So I just, I feel like brands often do themselves a disservice by doing that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, but what I will say is when I was looking at their Etsy, they have loads of like really positive reviews. So that's really good to see. So people do seem to be standing by the formula and really liking what they're getting. So if you are looking at that, it may be, like worth the money I don't know I haven't tried from the, from the brand myself so I can't tell you myself as to what I think but I I think I'm very much like on the fence with this one I don't really know yeah. what I 100% think like oh just pending swatches um but I think it definitely has potential and again I have no stats available on this one yet because I just put it to you guys and the very last thing that we're talking about is Isamea Beauty which is a brand by Isamea French you may remember them for their penis lipsticks that's right they love a bit of risque stuff and this feels a little bit more tame from what they've done recently although when you go onto the website it's like properly like whoa like like <laughs> walked in here like what are you looking at <laughs> watching her. and I was like no it's makeup um, that's I promise it's makeup <laughs> it's makeup I've never felt so weird about it but like there's like a woman writhing on like a table covered in chains and it's like really weird and I'm like oh no oh. I just wanted a lip gloss <laughs> <laughs> what's this about but this is the industrial 2.0 collection and look you know it's it's a Maya beauty it's it's expensive it's vegan it's cruelty free it's made in Italy which if you know anything about makeup anytime that you hear made in Italy it usually means it's like disgustingly good quality I don't know what it is they do in Italy do they just imbue it with the spirit of pasta nobody really knows um tagliatelle for you tagliatelle for, for you but there's the palette itself for 115 dollars but it looks very pretty on the eye again no swatches but it yeah, looks we have a little bit you can see a little bit what it looks like on the eye but i would like to see like how sparkly or like what kind of shades are these i, I don't feel like it's for me just because a lot of i don't feel like i would use a lot of those shades depending on how they would look swatched i could change my mind but the fact that it's like 115 dollars it's also like it's not for you tia your budget is way down although when you think about it this palette is less expensive than if you got the full lethal cosmetics bundle oh yeah still out of my price 
<laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> no, no, Tracy, that was in no way helpful. I I like the individual shades of this, and I've heard really good things from like MUAs on this. Like they reckon it is like meant to be a really, really good formula. But I feel like I'm not skilled enough with makeup to like justify such a yeah. big purchase. I'd like to, I would, like if somebody had it in their possession and they were visiting my house, I would ask them to bring it so that I could yeah. touch it and see what the story yeah. Same. But I know. I think is it Selfridges or something they sell a Samaya Beauty. I'm gonna I'll have all affiliate links down below. And if I'm ever at a Selfridges the next time I'm in the UK, I'm gonna see if they have that. And if they do, I will be touching it. Yeah. Like I would like to like see and touch and mm. like I'm intrigued by the brand, but it's just very, very, very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Like even their lip serums, which are like these kind of glosses, and they're like they say like lip maximizing formulas which I assume they're like a plumper, but they have like- oh, a- So pretty, like a golden one and the they like do. silver one. They look stunning on that like dark skin tone. They do. And they really, really very do. Very pretty. They look very sparkly. I like that they have at least swatches. The last one looks a little bit rose yeah. to me. But I feel like that on top of like a darker lip would look really pretty also. And I feel like their vibes very like grungy, like very out there. So I feel like this fits the brand very well. Yeah, I I do feel like they really, they know their brand. They know their aesthetic. They know what it is that they're selling. Um, I'm I'm definitely intrigued by that lip serum. And like the, they have all of these things that like vitamin E, they said that there's three different weights of hyaluronic acid. So that means it's going to penetrate the, the skin barrier at like different weights. So that's, I would imagine going to be very good for your lips not that I know much about skincare I I dabble in it but it sounds really really interesting and the swatches look really really good I will say as well like their the packaging on their like lip serum is nowhere near as like whoa (laughs) that's the (laughs) lipstick like this oh oh oh, there you are um but they do have like kind of that kind of piercing thing and by the way if you're on the website as well you can get kind of earrings in that style for 115 dollars if you're interested i mean personally i um i'm all right uh i'll just stick with she yeah i'm I'm grand earrings (laughs) time i forget to wear earrings here's the thing right i i would love to try those lip serums because i do think they're really pretty especially the like silver one looks absolutely stunning like imagine that on top of a black lipstick how cool would that look yeah no I really really like the look of that and you get 2.5 mils for that it is 38 dollars so it is expensive very expensive very very pricey very pricey but again if I like woke up in the morning and I was like Jeffrey Bezos levels of rich Instead of being like an idiot and going, I'm going to make a penis shaped aircraft to go into space, I'd just get a penis shaped lipstick and dead. Jeffrey, that's what you should be doing with your money. Just buy shit from SMA. But if I had his level of money, I would be going around purchasing these and sticking my fingers into them and kind of going, Oh, what's this? What's that? I'm very intrigued by it. Very, very intrigued by yeah, that. Same. If if they ever uh, if, if they ever have like a stall that I can just like touch, that's that's what I want to see. But for now, I don't know what you guys think. So I will flash the stats above. But my friends, that's it. That's the end of this particular week's episode. But I do have my favorite comment. And this is from NDO355, who said, looking forward to seeing your full collection, Teresa, if you have time to film that this summer. Yes, that is the plan. I now literally have the entire makeup room organized. Everything is in its correct place. And Mm. I'm going to organize a live first with my uh, YouTube channel members in the next week or two to do a tour and kind of talk through everything and show you guys my general setup. So you can imagine and know what it is that I'm doing uh, and where I sit. But then eventually I will do that as well during the summer while I have some time off, but not really off because I'm still working my second job. (laughs) I'm an idiot. (laughs) Uh, But my friends, 
that is probably it that is the end of this week's episode it was much longer than last week's but that's how makeup is it, it gives and it takes so every second week we have like a big week yeah. a really quiet one but you know the drill you can find me and Tia on lots of different social media it's going to be listed down below do please follow me and Tia across those and do please like comment and subscribe click on that notification bell and do please share because sharing is caring except of course for STDs in which case just wrap it up don't be gross but that's it that's the end of the video and we will see you guys in the next one bye, bye.